I'm Anil Kumar. We are exploring equations of lines in R3. The question here is, find vector equation of a line passing through 1 minus 5, 0 and parallel to the line 3x minus 2 divided by 6 equals to 7 minus y divided by 3 equals to 3z plus 1 divided by 2. Now to find line parallel to the given line, we need to find the direction vector. So the steps are to find direction vector. So once we find direction vector, it will be combination of the position vector and parameter times direction vector, right? So that's the first step. So let's rewrite this equation. Uh, let me write it first. It is 3x minus 2 over 6 equals to 7 minus y over 3 equals to 3z plus 1 over 2. So we should write this in standard format x minus x0 divided by d1, right? So that's the format we're looking for. So what we will do here is we'll divide both numerator and denominator by 3, right? So, so if I divide both numerator and denominator by 3 in this case, we get x minus 2 over 3 divided by 6 over 3, right? So we divided every term by 3 in numerator and denominator. Since we want x minus x0, right? That's the whole idea. Similarly here, what we notice is that it's minus y. We have to write in the form of y minus something, right? So we can multiply each term by negative number. So we can write this as y minus 7 divided by minus 3. Do you get the idea, right? And here, what should we do? We should divide by 3 since we want coefficient of z to be 1. So we can write this as z plus 1 over 3 divided by 2 over 3, right? I hope you understand and appreciate this step. Now the idea is we have to write our equation in the form x minus x0 divided by d1 equals to y minus y0 divided by d2 z minus z0 divided by d3, right? So that is the format. So we got that format and from here we can read the position vector and also the direction vector, correct? So that's the whole idea. So from here we know that the direction vector d is equal to 6 over 3 is 2 minus 3 and here we have 2 over 3, right? 2 over 3. Now it is a practice to avoid fractions. So we'll multiply each term by 3. So we could write this direction also as 6 minus 3 times 3 is 9 and then we have 2, right? So we could also write like this. That's okay. Now once we've got the direction vector, we know that the point is 1 minus 5, 0. So we can write the vector equation of the line which is passing through this point and parallel to this will be. So we are now writing the line which will pass through the point 1 minus 5, 0 and parallel to given line. Okay, so parallel to given line. Okay, so that should be say, say x, y, z equals to the position vector which is 1 minus 5 0 plus the parameter let's say t times the direction vector which is 6 minus 9 2 where t belongs to set of real numbers right so that is how you can solve such questions i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps you can always share and subscribe my videos thank you and all the best